Did it say go? Okay. <laughs>
Big, she be big on the football thing. Forty nine at all. Just Whatever. Like well, it is what it is. Right? Yo, <laughs> rep your team, man. Y'all, y'all see where I'm at, though. <laughs> y'all see where I'm at all day. Eagles. Oh, my God. Yeah. Quick story, y'all. Mm-hmm. Thursday, yeah. on my way to work. Yeah. Of course, it's about 4.30 in the morning. Oh, God. Coming out my neighborhood. My my uh, front window is kind of foggy. Mm-hmm. I got the defrost on. Okay. As I'm turning the corner to leave out my neighborhood, mm-hmm. lo and behold, it's a goddamn gear right in the middle of the damn road. Oh my God. <laughs> had I not had ninja reflexes like I do have to grab niggas. His special powers. <laughs> I was able to get the fuck out the way and his little ass trotted out the way, y'all. If not for the ninja reflexes. If not for my goddamn ninja reflexes. <laughs> oh, thank God. I would have hit that shit, I would have hit that damn deer thank with this God. little Honda Civic. <laughs> And would have told her the little shit. Thank God for the ninja reflexes. But it was just <laughs> scared the hell out of me. But I was able to think fast. Well, he thunk th- th- fast. <laughs> That's right. Okay. All Another right. quick story, y'all. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, this is about maybe about three weeks to a month ago oh. at my job. Oh, God. I'd be scared. I had loss. <laughs> My damn ink pen, one of my favorite ink pens. Yeah, though. he be having them. He he brings and his own ink pen everywhere. Can I finish, please? Go ahead. I'm Thank just you. adding to the story. I don't need no adding right now. <laughs> Come in a little later. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, my favorite ink pen. I'm on my fort truck. Okay. The day before, oh, my. <laughs> I noticed when I got home I ain't had a shit. So I'm like, damn. Mm-hmm. I bet you I left that shit right on that fort lift, mm-hmm. and I bet you one of these niggas got my shit. Got your Special pen. Came back the next day. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm just so happy putting my product away in the in the um, warehouse, and I just so happen look down, Shit. going through the damn roll up door to, to take my product in, and guess what I seen? Your ink pen. My goddamn ink pen. Right underneath this padded, like sticking out just enough the to city. catch my eye. <laughs> and I was like, see. That's my shit right there. That's how I know that shit belonged to me. Oh, my God. And not nobody else because this is my favorite goddamn pen. And it, it, it wanted me to find it, and I found it. I put out the amber alert for it. And that next day, I picked up my goddamn baby, yo. And I found my damn pen, yo. Oh, my God. And I was so damn happy. Yo, that pen writes so good, oh man. God. It's so smooth with your strokes. Oh, I had to have my shit, y'all. But that that's is, just another quick story. That is remarkable. Another quick story, and y'all. You are incredible. Yes, you are. Anyways, <laughs> um, <laughs> how your day been? Okay. Silly, silly. Way. Oh no, yeah, I, I, I gotta laugh all the time. Um, yeah. I'm how, you, how your day been? Oh, I'm having a great day. <laughs> I'm having a great day. I'm gonna do another video, or we we'll probably do it after this, a little bit later. Because I built a fireplace, guys. I've been wanting to build my fireplace for the back porch for the longest time, and I did it. And it looks great, and I'm happy about it. And we're I helped. He carried did. all the he fucking did. heavy ass rocks. The, yeah, I made it out of paver blocks. From the, from the store <laughs> to the back of the damn trunk. Yes, he did. He to did. the house, mm-hmm. out the trunk, to the back porch was thank, me. Thank goodness for him. Because so. Yeah, I want a wheelbarrow, goddamn. Why well, can't find a where do you buy a wheelbarrow? I was looking at Lowe's, they don't have one. What the hell we would keep one? Just outside? I guess so. We put it in the shed out there or something because I need be to be able when he is unavailable to drag shit to a, to and fro. Because I be building. Mara <laughs> Chirice, what's up, home girl? <laughs> hey Mara, how you doing? <laughs> oh my goodness. Can we talk about this person? Oh, Amber. Amber, <laughs> are you watching right now? Get in the chat if you know how to ask your son to show you how to get in the chat and say, hey, Amber was our waitress last night at the Smoky Bones. That woman treated us like royalty. We had the best time. Yo, she was working hard for that shit. She did that. And yes, I, she I did. Had to, I, I, you know, normally yeah. <laughs> you got to have good customer service fucking with me, yo. <laughs> But Shorty was on point. She came through. She came through. Any little thing we asked for, she was there. 
You know they ain't got a lot of uh, shit on your tables no, no more. more yeah. mm -hmm. They ain't got salt and pepper. You got to right. ask for all your little condiments yeah, the and shit Yeah, barbecue sauce and stuff. And Shorty was yeah. on point with the wet nap. She anticipated our needs. We didn't even ask for a to-go cup for our soda. Boom, right on the thing. I'm like, look at Amber. Yeah. Look at her killing it. <laughs> so shout it out, her, Amber. <laughs> yeah, I think it was her first couple of days yeah, or whatever. Yeah, she said she was new. Yeah, so she, uh... <laughs> She was awesome. I don't know how, uh, you know, fucking with customer service. Mm -hmm. I don't know who ever worked in customer service. Oh. But, you know, you always start out with that good attitude. <laughs> but as time goes on and customers come through your line, you're going to be pissed off. What you want? <laughs> <laughs> you know how it is. So. <laughs> Amber going to be like, hey, how you doing? My name is Amber. What y'all want? <laughs> so she hit us with the nice treatment last night. She was night. awesome. She was but awesome. as time carries on. She gonna stay the same. We'll go Amber back in a couple great. of months and see how our attitude is. <laughs> and in a pandemic too. I mean, you know, they short staffed and everything. So yeah, she, was awesome. she was and awesome. She was awesome. And their fries was nice Ooh, and hot. Yeah, the fries with oh, them ribs, man. The onion rings. I had. Oh, oh yeah, my the, God. that's what I'm getting next time. The, the fries and the onion, onion rings, rings man. With them St. Louis ribs, the yo. Rib. Man. What? God Almighty. That shit was good, oh, yo. Who I ate for the rest of my and ass I ain't this morning. Eat, I, ain't eat, I fasted all day just for that Wait shit right there. Wait on this monkey bones. Man. But well, wait a minute. What's I up? still, okay, if somebody know, how in the hell, the man tried to explain it to me, but I still don't know. How do you smoke chicken wings? They had smoked chicken wings. He probably got a wings. smoker. You know Ray Jr. and them got okay, smoker. Okay, I'm going to go ahead. Yeah, go Amber Black. Now, I'm going to have to get me a smoker because, yeah, God, that's what it is. Them wings was so good, I couldn't stop talking about that's them. That's how Clyde be um, getting his Clyde. shit like Oh, that. let's holler out Clyde. Clyde, yeah. um, uh, my brother-in-law, Clyde, Yaks Barbecue. Yeah. Clyde is a killer. He will barbecue anything. Right. <laughs> but yeah, they had the, we had that for the appetizers. Them smoked chicken wings. Oh, they were so crisp. I'm like, how did they get the skin this crisp like this? I hey, been putting my shits in the air fryer. They still don't get like that. Them wings, damn. And yo, with Woo! that blue cheese, man. Yeah, I, I like blue the, cheese I with my shit, man. That shit was delicious, y'all. Yep. Yeah. We ate, we ate like kings and queens. We did. Right? They did like, it so good. I couldn't believe it. Because you know, <laughs> people, they get nasty with you now because of the And we sat right down. Sat right on down. Then had to wait outside. They make you wait in the car. Sometimes. It depends on where you're going. I don't know where we went. Um, Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> And waited like damn it three hours, we did, yo. Had to wait. I to took sit a nap. down. In the car, <laughs> they won't let you wait inside. You know, like there's no waiting area. We went. We went to P.F. Chang not too long ago. They let us wait inside, and, and then we sat down yeah, in like ten weekend. minutes. Uh -huh. That was perfect. But um, Smoky Bones and Hamp was it Hamp or Newport News? Uh, Newport News. Smoky Bones in Newport News, Virginia. Virginia. You can't beat it. Y'all go get some, cause damn, the <laughs> food was good as hell. Had to talk about it. We told Amber we was gonna holler her out too. I hope you watching Amber. Let's see if she in the chat. Maybe she can get in the chat. She said her son showed her how to do stuff. Craig Beats, what's up, hey, homie? Hey Craig, how you doing? <laughs> All right, y'all. I wanna um take a quick opportunity. My sister, she's in the uh chat, Miss uh. Karma 52. Mm -hmm. Um, I gotta acknowledge Shorty again. Okay. Because. Do you see her here? Oh, I pull up. Hold up one second. Okay. Hold on one second. Images. <laughs> Glenn said, we them boys. <laughs> so she repping her team. There go Karma. Okay, there she go. <laughs> she said, hey, to Black Anonymous. <laughs> Damn, that shit ain't gonna let me pull that shit up, y'all. What? Her comment from um last week, Um, she wrote a, a super chat. And I wanted to... Um, Can you, do you need my phone? Read, I, I'm, I'm gonna pull it up right here. Okay. Um, I just want to acknowledge uh, Karma 52 mm -hmm. one more time. Um, where we at? Where we at? Where she at? Where she at? Um, here she go, right here. <laughs> All right. 
Karma 52, this is for you. <laughs> you had wrote us um, in an uploaded video last week entitled Umar Johnson is Shook. Mm -hmm. You guys missed my super chat. Okay. It wasn't about that, mm -hmm. but I wanted you to see the message uh, which read, You two always show your chat mad love, and which we do. <laughs> we try. <laughs> and that we love you both. Thank Aww. you. We love you too. Oh, come for you too. I feel like your family. <laughs> ah, damn. Okay, here we go. I feel like your family. I really do. I really do feel that way. You Aww. guys are so inspiring, too real, and funny as hell. <laughs> May the Lord continue to bless you and your family. I know your show has gotten me through some rough days. Oh, Thank you for wow. that. So we Karma thank you, Karma 52, 52. Karma for always showing love, y'all. Wow. We always. Come on, and to everybody in the on. chat, nah, nah, <laughs> it ain't about that today. Nah, I'm good today. Okay. But, um, we're, oh, Karma, see, we, we appreciate everybody. Mm -hmm. Uh, and much love to everybody who yes. keeps showing us love. Thank y'all. Yes. Thank y'all. This is the type of platform we want to have. Somewhere where you can feel welcome and warm. And we feel fun. like family. Yes, we want that. Get, hey. Get the shit off your chest. Come on with it. That's what the chat is for. <laughs> That's what the email is for. All of that. If you got something to say, mm -hmm. say it. Say it. We or say. if you want to hit us personally. Yes. Let's get into it with E.J at gmail.com I'm putting my right now here we go right there right there mm -hmm. y'all can hit us 24 yeah. hours a day mm -hmm. with any content anything on your mind yes if, if you want to advertise with us sponsors yes. we welcome all that yes we certainly do so mm -hmm. shout out to uh karma 52 speaking of that black anonymous i read that article from your man um yeah he's our own umar he's he has got the perfect perspective for that scammer. I enjoyed that article. And we're going to get with him too because we want to interview him. Yeah, if he, uh, he ain't never um, answered your yeah, Twitter back. I, I, yeah, I, t I sent him a Twitter a tweet and uh, I haven't heard back. But that's okay. You know, I know people are folk busy, so that's what it is. Okay, I can get it to my Jay Sharon shout out. All right, it's time for Jay Sharon shout out. As you already know, mm -hmm. you are live. Well, let's get into it with E and J. I'm E. And I'm J. Yeah. <laughs> These uh, J sharing shout outs is coming from our last Thursday live entitled Umar Johnson is Shook. If you have not seen that video, please go see it on our channel. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. Uh, first, I would like to um, thank everyone for their super chat yes. and donation to the channel. Highly appreciate it. Yes. Thank you to all the new subscribers and old school subscribers. All the old heads. We love uh, y'all. That, that keep yeah. E and J relevant. <laughs> right. And I just want you to check. I knew. Truck yes. <laughs> I love your channel. Feel like I'm at the barbecue every, every time. time. Just, just feel, feel good. good. Okay. Salute, my man. That's what we want. Or shorty or oh, whoever you may be. Come on. Come I really love you both. <laughs> Y'all keep the chat fired. That's right. <laughs> oh. Salute, sister. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Um, yeah. Can I go ahead? Go right uh, ahead. I just wanted to mention, yeah, the Washington football team. Yeah. That's some bull. <laughs> that is <Yeah>. some bullshit. <laughs> okay. Anyways, um, <laughs> first one goes to my man, Francois Daniel LC. Francois. Thank you for the <laughs> super doing? chat last week. Thank you. Highly appreciate it. We certainly do. Black Anonymous already in the chat. We just enjoy Black Thank Anonymous. Thank you yes, for indeed. your insight and your mm -hmm. knowledge, homie. Yes. Thank you. Exactly. Cheryl Winokur. Yes. <laughs> always showing love. Mm -hmm. My man, 757's own Barn Keith. Barn Keith in the house. We not uh, in the house today, but usually he is. Yeah. <laughs> he might show up. All right, so I'm going to keep it rumbling. Okay, go ahead. Frederick Lucas, mm -hmm. spiritually inclined. All right. Uh, Kayshawn Wilson. All right, Kayshawn. <laughs> Miss Justice. Okay. <laughs> my man already in the chat. Uh -huh. C C G photography. photography. Yes. <laughs> uh, Lise Martin. Lise Martin. Yes. Let me see your transcript. Okay. <laughs> uh, just chilling. Just chilling. Mm -hmm. Spanish fly. Wow. Okay. <laughs> 
Karma 52. As usual, as per. With the support of in. hitting the like button. Yes. <laughs> she a moderator. So we love that. if you in the chat or you watching live, please hit the like button, yeah. y'all. It's free. It don't hurt nothing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it don't hurt a fly or ants on the ground. Like Linda said, he don't step on them ants. He don't like it. <laughs> we appreciate that. He has value all life. Me, homie. He values all life. I'm stomping the hell out of that All life ants. value in, in, the, in the animal kingdom. If it's a spider in my house, I'm killing that shit. Yeah, we swat If it's a fly oh my flying God. around, that shit is getting swatted. We, we kill I'm that. Nat, you getting smacked like that. Goddamn. Uh, any, uh, any pest, you are getting butchered. <laughs> By Jay right here, y'all. Why you gotta get smacked <laughs> like that? <laughs> God damn it. Okay. You gonna get the Ike and Tina. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Ike and Tina smack. Nobody wants the Ike and Tina smack. Nobody wants that. Ever. All right. <laughs> uh, moving on. Uh, uh, mm. Mark Oyan Hundred. All right, Mark. <laughs> Carl Burton. All right, Carl. My man, we just shot on the mouth. Mm. Bigfoot trucking. Okay, Bigfoot. <laughs> P Trap. Okay, P Trap. The good Tiffany Brown. The good Tim. Thank you for your super chat last week. Thank you so much. My sister in the chat, mm -hmm. Angie, nine four five six five. Mm -hmm. I don't like your football team, but you're all right with me <laughs> personally. <laughs> and thank you for your monopoly money last okay. week. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> it's the shit flies that's hard to kill. <laughs> that's right. Okay, the now. Babe. What's hey, up, homie? <laughs> All right now. Uh, Blue Rain, mm -hmm. thank you for last week for dropping some facts in the chat. <laughs> yes. I see my man, he's in the chat. Uh, Kendrick Jones. Yes, Kendrick. Mm -hmm. Always one of the first in the chat. He said yes. that last week mm -hmm. you had said Ed Hampton instead of Fred Hampton. Oh, I'm so sorry. The, the, I apologize. The people that Omar was talking about. Because I came back and said Fred Hammonds, the gospel singer. <laughs> we just fucked it up, huh? Okay. So he corrected us on that. All right, it thank was Fred you. Hampton. Fred Hampton. Okay, uh, Kendra, well, we appreciate that because you know we don't know everything. <laughs> uh, Mark Jefferson. Mm hmm Mr. To Jefferson. the fifth. Okay, to the fifth. T A. T A. <laughs> Moon. Oh. <laughs> Tanya Azing. Okay. Azing. Tanya. Uh -huh. Azing. Okay. I hope I'm saying that right. Mm -hmm. Uh, the product. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> peace, love. Peace, love. Yes. Benjamin Elam. Ben. <laughs> uh, unbothered pe penile. <laughs> we love you back, sister. Uh, unbothered penile. Okay. <laughs> All right. Gator girl 04. Gator girl. <laughs> James Mosley. James Mosley. <laughs> G G G. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I hope you catch us live right now. Okay, GGG. I hope you're watching. <laughs> uh, Northern Snowbird. Oh, <laughs> okay, Northern Snowbird. This person always catch the upload, but always got a positive comment. Appreciate, appreciate you. Appreciate that. Yes, indeed. Soup 187. All right. Mm -hmm. Ricardo Cortez. Ricardo. <laughs> Personal Dance Party. Oh. <laughs> S. Dukes. Okay, S. Dukes. <laughs> Mr. Mike Douglas. Mr. Mr. Douglas, how you doing? <laughs> Last but not least, Country Living. All right, Country Living. Mm -hmm. And um, anybody else who came yes. after these people, we appreciate y'all. Mm -hmm. I will try my best to get y'all on this upcoming Thursday live. Yes. Or hit you up in, in the uploaded video. Yes. To get you a shout out. And to let mm -hmm. you know that we appreciate y'all really on do. the bottom of our hearts, y'all. Yes, y'all. We do. Thank y'all we for all your support out. and yes. for making E and J what it is today. Yeah, and we love to do the shout outs. You see how much fun we have. So right. we will shout your ass out if you want us to. And even if you don't, we probably still gonna do it. Word. Um I got a few uh Jay's <laughs> news clips okay. as well. Going into Jay's news. This is, uh, unless you got something to add. No. Mm -mm. You don't got nothing to add? No. All right. These is news clips of some shit of uh, current events mm -hmm. that happened during the week. Mm -hmm. You may have heard about them or you may not have heard about them. Mm -hmm. This might be the first time you heard them. Mm -hmm. So here we go. All right. First one. Yeah. Um, a dentist by the name of Seth Lock Lockhart. Okay, Seth Lockhart. Who pulled uh, a, push a patient's tooth. While riding a hoverboard 
has gotten 12 years in prison. Good, go straight to jail. <laughs> go um, straight to jail. What? Why? Uh, oh shit. <laughs> yeah, he was this. Um, he was uh, somebody was filming him uh, on social media, oh Instagram or whatever, and he was trying to you know be cool and look cool on his page. Okay. And the yeah. motherfucking um medical board. Yeah. Got a hold of that video. You take your license and lock your black ass up. Well, and just whoever you are, your ass is going up. to prison. Yeah. Oh, good. You should. And uh, you can expect a lawsuit, bitch, because whoever, if you, oh my God, are you serious? You ain't paying attention while you in my mouth. You on a fucking hoverboard. Yeah. What kind of shit is that? And I believe uh -uh. there's a female uh -huh. who are uh, two people taken out. Okay. And yeah. I believe she was on an anesthesia. Oh no! <laughs> yeah. So she didn't know. Yeah. Okay, yeah, lawsuit. Yes, you, yeah, you will never get your license back. I'm suing you, the company you work for. If your, if your own private fact practice, you will never practice again, bro. That is, I'm suing your family. I'm gonna sue your grandmama. I'm gonna sue your dog. I'm suing every fucking body. You the nigga? Are you crazy? Oh, y'all hear Karma Fifty Two chat? Yes. Hit the <laughs> like button. Hit that like button. <laughs> Uh, thank you for Facebook. Somebody done showed us some love on okay. Facebook. Okay, hey Facebook, how you doing? Appreciate y'all <laughs> on Facebook. Yeah. Um, the pissed off radiologist posted from his Twitter account said, "How to lose your medical license?" Yes. In ten seconds. Yes. Okay. This dentist unknowingly <laughs> yeah. filmed his extracting of a patient's tooth while on a hoverboard. Your career is more important than a like on a video, yo. What kind of? Yeah, well, you should not. You shouldn't be a dentist then because you don't value um, people's safety. That's you. Damn, I can't even say it. You obviously have your priorities mixed up. So yeah. you should not be practicing no kind of dentistry, no kind of medicine at all. The was, he God was like, damn. You know them hoverboard shits, you know, you got to keep your balance. Yeah, nigga, so you this. This is what, this is you. But when you see the, <laughs> you see the video, that uh -huh. nigga, he nice as a bitch on that Okay, shit, well, dog. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't care at all. I don't care how great you are. You ain't going to be in my mouth on a fuck. On a hoverboard. <laughs> Yo, no, look for the lawsuit. Rory King. Okay. What up, man? <laughs> what my chest? <laughs> What's up, homie? He said it with the chest. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, right, now second story. A yeah. Florida woman. Mm -hmm. Oh man, this shit crazy, y'all. Oh my, you know what, Florida? Uh, Florida, yes. y'all. <laughs> People in Florida. They be wilding mm -hmm. down that they shit, y'all. They really, really do. Anyways, a Florida woman mm -hmm. was arrested. After stealing a sex toy and using it in the store. <laughs> oh my god. Can't make this shit up, y'all. Please. Okay. The toy. It was a white woman. It, it was a okay. white woman. Thank God. It, it was a white crazy. woman with this one. Thank God. <laughs> I try to play the race card. Yes, but you we know, God damn. <laughs> we got so much shit. This, this, this is why I do that. Because we got so much shit on us. You feel me? We just at the bottom. And then we do dumb ass shit like this. I've been just like, God, no, please don't let it be us. But, you know, white folks do this. They can just get over and move on. Go and have their corporate life. You feel me? That's what I think anyway. <laughs> so. That's right. <laughs> uh, and she used it in the store. She used it in the store. The toy was valued at $45.98. By the times arrived, by the time the cops arrived, uh -huh. Teresa Stanley oh. was completely naked <laughs> and managed to sneak inside a store, a stock room, to complete her orgasm. <laughs> she was arrested immediately and charged with indecent exposure and petty larceny, y'all. <laughs> Shorty was okay. like, "Yo, before y'all take me." Okay. I got to get this clit off. Yeah, I got to bust this nigga. <laughs> I got to do it. Hey, you see how I went through all of this? The, the shit is already wet. It. God damn it. I got to finish off the wetness. <laughs> <laughs> this is some nasty <clears throat> shit. Oh, oh. oh that's some uh, nasty shit. shit. Damn, lady. Damn. What Yo. the hell? What happened? What's wrong with you? You could have just walked the toe and just buy it. Go home. Apparently, well, you when you uh, if you would have seen her uh, mug shot, oh, it, it looked oh. like she was on some shit, y'all. Oh yeah, she's clearly on yeah, she she's, looked like she was on some oh, shit. That hair on. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. boxer Roy Jones Jr., age 51, okay. is having second thoughts oh. about fighting 
my man, uh-huh. former Unify heavyweight champion Mike, Mike Tyson, Tyson. Okay, I knew that. age 54, <laughs> okay. in their upcoming eight-round exhibition match scheduled for November the 28th. Oh my God. Jones states that Tyson is the much bigger man okay. and is known to come out in his earlier rounds more explosive than himself. Okay. So Roy Jones, mm-hmm. all them knockouts and concussions that you co- you caught in your pre- prior matches, mm-hmm. you are thinking clearly with this one. I think one. so. Ain't nobody giving oh my shit. Fuck him. Okay, hold on. The chat is lit up. But hold on. Let me see. The FBI, this uh, Matt Man Key, the FBI needs to investigate and arrest Umar for smoking and selling that ancestral sherm <laughs> out the trap out. Okay. <laughs> I think that's funny. Uh, Matt Man Key. <laughs> that's funny to me. <laughs> All right, can I move on? Go ahead, honey. Go ahead. That's the chat, though. All right. Um, WNBA star All right. mm-hmm. Maya Moore okay. has just married the man who she helped free from a wrongful conviction of 23 years ago, Jonathan Irons. Oh. Moore had put her playing career on hold in February 2019 mm-hmm. while still in her prime to help Irons a convicted uh conviction to be overturned mm. irons was being convicted of breaking into a missouri home and shooting the owner twice oh my god so he that he it was wrong a wrongful conviction he didn't do that right but he served 23 years damn Ooh, and so maya much moore <laughs> so much and my man is married now good that's great i think that's a good thing find love any way you can huh just gone firm. <laughs> I just wonder what a nigga being incarcerated Ooh. in prison mm. for 23 years, oh. how that state of mind gonna be. Yeah. You well, see what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, he got to have a strong mind. I mean, hopefully, to, to, you, know, you know, to make it through that. I think. Anyway, I'm, I'm just. I mean, hopefully, they'll be happy, live happily ever after. That would be great. In my opinion, that's what I think. But hey, we know somebody in the WNBA. I got a family member. <laughs> Sugar Rogers is my cousin. Sugar Rogers. Sugar. <laughs> Shout out to Sugar, yo. Sugar ain't watching. no damn body. <laughs> okay, she playing basketball. <laughs> Shout out to Sugar, yo. Hey, Sugar. If you watch it, how you doing? <laughs> Jay Wade, what's up? Hey, Jay Happy Wade. Happy Sunday to you. All right. <laughs> hey, Jay, a happy Sunday, yes. Yeah. Yeah, Sunday is usually ha- pretty happy. It's, it's good now that I'm laid off. I ain't got to go to work anymore. <laughs> All right, moving on. Okay. Kanye West has recently went on pin on one of his Grammys. Oh yeah. Over yeah. music ownership, oh. he said that Universal Music Group did not give him a chance to buy his masters back, mm. and claimed that he's one of the few artists that can speak out against the music business because of his worth, his net worth. And he's supposedly supposed to be um, a billionaire now. So he done forgot about what happened to Michael Jackson. Mike, hold on. Just about his masters. Um, He done forgot about what happened to Prince and about his masters. He forgot about what happened to Sam Cooke and owning his masters. um, Hey, man. You better be careful, Kanye. I'm stuck on he's worth the most. He's the, the... what? He's his value is more than any other entertainer. Is that what he's saying? Well, he's saying that he can speak like this because of his net worth. He's okay. saying that. Yeah, right off the bat. You don't know Michael Jackson. You have never heard. I ain't got the shirt on today, but usually I got on a fucking mic. I ain't never wore a Kanye West shirt. I'm not saying I'm the authority of you know who's valuable, but everybody loved, in my opinion, Michael Jackson. Because I love him so much. That's what I think. But you are not a bigger star than Michael Jackson. Nobody is. How? What about... If they kill Michael Jackson after he got his masters, they kill fucking Prince. Prince, who was like one of the healthiest people on the planet. That nigga um, took baths in placenta juice. He... What the hey, fuck you get placenta juice from? You're bad off the internet. <laughs> I like to do everything else. But, uh, hey. Damn. Prince is dead after that. Just like you said, all of these people. 
And they said they said Prince was a hell of a basketball player. Yeah, too, he, could, he could hoop. <laughs> they said all that uh, Charlie Murphy uh <laughs> shit on Dave Chappelle. Yeah, they beat their ass. Um, the blouses <laughs> against the uh about, against the, the shirts. The <laughs> they said all oh, that was a true story, yo. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, Kanye is delusional. He's clearly he got problems. He's, I don't think he's thinking. You know, I, you know, I just don't want to put no bad karma out on, yeah, on my man, right. but I, I, I see something happening to my man soon. Well, unfortunately, know, yeah. After they do that, you know, get their masters. That's and, right. Somebody else said Kanye got his. I mean, um, LL got his masters. That's right. He did. LL got his masters. That's too. right. Uh, but I think he had them all the time, didn't he? Didn't uh, LL have his masters all the time? He didn't have to buy them from a studio. Uh, he was always had a record label. He ain't never have his uh, own record label. He was always on Def Jam. Okay. Well, I don't know how he got his masters, but yeah, yeah I, I did know, hear I've that. Never, LL no, got I, his masters. I, I've never heard that. They never made a big to do about it. But yeah, he's doing great. Um, I heart no, what is it? He's on uh, Sirius Radio. He got the, a killer show on Sirius Radio. I listen to it all the time. It's the the Rock the Bell show. It's great. Get serious radio. Listen to that. That thing. Damn. It's all old school hip hop. And oh my God, the DJs. The DJs be oh my God. You don't even. You ain't ready. <laughs> you is not ready for this music. It's fantastic. All right, y'all. Moving on. A Kentucky man <laughs> accused of dismembering his ex girlfriend and transporting her body parts in suitcases to Illinois. Why did I see this on TV? Melvin Martin, age 30, was arrested outside of Chicago of his Chicago relatives home mm-hmm. where police retrieved the suitcases. Mm-hmm. His relatives said that he never unpacked the suitcases uh-huh. and a foul odor was, was coming, coming from, from the suitcases. I saw this on TV. One of Melvin's family members had snuck and opened up one of the uh, suitcases and called the cops immediately on his psychopathic ass. And let me tell you what they said. You got some more on that story? I do got some more. Okay, go ahead. Um, It is believed that Martin and his ex-girlfriend was involved in a domestic dispute Mm -hmm. prior to her dismembering. Mm. Okay, I want to chime in because I saw this. The relative that um, he went home to because he returned home to his mama. It was his mama. She was, what the hell is in this goddamn suitcase? He put the suitcase in her garage. Like, it won't go smell up the house. I mean, what the, what is wrong with you? Are you, well, he obviously is crazy. Um, They opened the suitcase. There was a severed head. The rest of her body. I mean, this motherfucker. And then he had the nerve after being arrested, interviewing with the police. He said he still felt that he needed had the need to be with her. He wanted to still be with her, even though her body is cut up in a goddamn suitcase. Lock him up, please. Lock him in the psychiatric board. He need help. He needs some help. <laughs> but yeah, they was arguing. He said so. They had an argument, and she wanted to break up with him. Wonder why. <laughs> and he cut her ass up. He killed her and then chopped her body up because he still wanted to be with her. But my man had it. He ain't had a nerve enough to find you a damn trash can, a dumpster, and dump that shit up in the. I ain't saying that's what I would do, but I would have done that. Oh my god! Hey y'all, I would not have been toting around a fucking body part. Wait a minute. He got off the bus with that suitcase. He came home on the bus. He was on Greyhound, and he came home freshly. Freshly cut up girlfriend. Ricardo Cortez, what's up, honey? Hey, Ricardo, how you doing? Yeah, uh, uh, he's absolutely 100% psycho. He actually said he still wanted to be with her. <laughs> She's thinking in the suitcase. Oh. <laughs> All right, moving on. Cleveland Browns wide receiver mm. Odell Beckham Jr. Mm. is still denying claims of liking to get defecated on according to Chiefs oh. Keith's baby mother. Oh my god, what? Uh he claims Jesus. in all of this, in all of his career, this is the funniest shit he ever heard in his life. Okay, that ain't funny. I don't think it's funny. <laughs> At all. Um There's shorty, a rumor you like to get shitted on. 
and Shorty had um, oh. oh my god she did an interview uh -huh. the female who's accusing him of this okay and she had uh in particular uh precise details on shit he liked had to, to have done prior to oh, being damn. shitted on oh damn he, he is a process <laughs> It's just like that uh, Biggie uh, uh, skit on um, uh, Life After Death album. Okay. It's like, yo, man, this bitch wanted me to cock over her and shit on her stomach. I was like, yo, what the fuck I'm supposed to do with that? <laughs> and not shit on you, yo. <laughs> so Biggie came back and was like, oh my God. so after the bitch, you know, cleaned the after I shits on the bitch. Oh, Lord. <laughs> the bitch washed, washed the shit off and I hit the shit. <laughs> Oh, just disgusting. I've never oh, heard that. I've never heard of nothing. Yeah. Like that. Oh, Biggie. Oh, Life after God. death. Oh, Jesus Christ. My man. Ugh. Rest in okay. peace, Biggie. Well, so Odell like that type shit, huh? He's a weirdo. <laughs> Said he liked to get shitted on, huh? My God. Oh. How, you know, in my mind, how does that even become a thing? How do you know you like to get shitted on? How would you think of that? You know? I, I, that's, that don't never come in my mind. <laughs> Nobody want to get shitted on. God damn. That's the absolute last Let thing. Let alone, I don't even like smelling my own shit. Well, you know, I deal with the babies, the, the, the triplets, and I'm constantly dealing with shit. My whole thing is to learn, get on that pot. Go to the potty. No, no more of that. And I don't want to deal with it at all. That's right, Darrell Bay. He played for your city, Cleveland. That's right. <laughs> oh, Shout no. out to Cleveland, Ohio, man. Okay, <laughs> Oh, that's just gross. <laughs> oh, damn, damn. Psycho. Damn, this shit keep fucking moving. Yeah. Damn. All right, here you go. There you go. All, All right. right, moving on, <laughs> okay. y'all. Rapper Little Boosie. Little Boosie. Is suing Instagram oh, God. for racial discrimination. <laughs> oh, he's being discriminated. In August, IG disabled his account oh. for violating the social media site's policies. What did he do? At that time, <laughs> Boosie offered owner... Mark Zuckerberger, a hundred thousand dollars <laughs> to uh -huh. reinstate his account, Damn. claiming that that's how he feeds his family. With Instagram. That's what he said, Boosie. Okay. Huh? To sure. my understanding, mm -hmm. I was told that Boosie had females up there stripping and playing with dildos and their coochies, etc., for forty nine ninety nine subscription per month. God, I don't know. I don't know how <laughs> this nigga thought he was gonna get away with that on IG. Yeah. Oh my God. A uh, platform. That's ridiculous. Um, this is their shit, man. Mm -hmm. Um, just like this is YouTube platform. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Facebook platform. Exactly. You so got okay. to do. What you got to get down or lay down. Okay. Can we talk <laughs> about that for real? Because I've been getting copyright strikes for our outro. Um music that was supposed to be free so you'll notice when the outro plays there's new music that we fucking paid for so we could be on here we want to continue and we want to have the intro and we want to have the outro so hey you gotta do what the fuck they say or your shit won't get monetized and, and that's the least of the problems they could cut the shit all the way off if you act too crazy what's wrong with y'all just like didn't pharaoh want to sue who is he suing? Uh, Facebook or no, you, YouTube? YouTube? Come on now. I ain't, heard, I ain't heard no status on that. I ain't heard no that. word about that either. Uh, moving on, y'all. Mm -hmm. uh, Bakerfield, California, y'all. Bakerfield, okay. <laughs> there was a drive-by shooting In at a funeral <laughs> home parking lot killing a 28-year-old 20 year man and traumatized the many other bystanders the of the fuck? whole entire ordeal. Oh my of God. course, there was no suspects caught or identified. What? Somebody did a drive-by at a funeral home? At a fucking funeral home in the parking lot oh my God. and killed a 28-year-old year, yeah, man. That's, that's just pitiful. That's just the saddest thing in the world. You already there because you somebody that died in your family. Why else would you be at a funeral home? And then somebody come do a drive by. What kind of, where is what Bakersfield? Is that that ain't the hood? That's the suburbs. What the fuck? What's going on? Uh, Bakersfield. Bakersfield, know. California. Then you don't hear no talk about Bakersfield. How hard it is in Bakersfield. 
Bakersfield, Bakersfield. That sound like ain't been them live there. Yeah, yo, um, crazy. Hmm. All right, my last story. Okay. Is to my goddamn hometown. Oh, Rochester, Rochester <laughs> New York. What y'all. is happening now? <laughs> y'all niggas is up there. Mm. Wow. Okay, y'all. what they doing in Rochester today? <laughs> Man, it was a mass shooting. Oh, a mass shooting. Of uh, 14 people getting injured. Ooh. Two are, perno- are dead. Damn, oh my God. At some sort of party on the east side. The victim ranges from the ages of 18 to 22. And um, no one has been taken into custody so Mm. far. All the victims was carried and taken care of at the hospital where I was born at, Strong Memorial Hospital. Okay, is that where your mom worked? She used to work there. Okay. Mm -hmm. She's retired now. Okay, yeah. Oh. But um, damn y'all, y'all. I mean, mm-hmm. I'm just you know, I'm yeah. just tired of seeing my city right. on nationwide that. news yep. on some violent shit, y'all. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Yeah. Damn, mm-hmm. that, that on some horrible. silly shit. Mm-hmm. Hey, can we talk about what we did last night after we came from eating? Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know if anybody else. Do we want to show it? How we can show it? No, no, not that. I'm talking about this show. Oh, the um, go Okay, go Rare Essence got oh. on stage it last night. You had to pay for a ticket to come. It went for five dollars. Um, Mitch, he, you know, he, from him mentioning Rochester and how violent this guy, it reminded me when I was in D.C. Um, there was this spot, Celebrity Hall. I used to go every weekend. Every time the show was over, Rare Essence used to play, and we used to call it the Black Hole because it was a mess up in there. But, hey, we love Go-Go. Go-Go is everything in D.C., I know you know. And that was me right in the front, and up on the stage, just acting wild like a wild person. Every weekend, we would come out to the police, ambulances, somebody that got shot. Every weekend. And you know what? Every weekend we would just go back because it was just too fun. It was the funnest thing I've ever done. Well, Rare Essence played last night and played all of their old whole songs from the Black Hole. Oh my God! We well, I was sitting up in here grooving. It was great. Rare Essence. Okay, can can I see? Do anybody know what I'm talking about? Rare Essence with their old asses. This was their 45th year anniversary, and then you know they was going to have a party somewhere, but of course. As like as happened in Rochester, you really can't do that. What are they doing in Rochester? So uh, wow. Rare Essence had it on uh, stage it, and you could uh, pay for it and watch it online. And they got a new song with Snoop. It's craziness. Yeah, Go Go is alive. Go Go forever. I yeah, just we, to we, we just had a, uh, a hater. Oh, we got a hater where? This guy right here. I blocked him though. I ain't gonna say his name. Okay. Well, but he's... um, thank you, chat, for uh. Making that aware. Oh, thank you. Cher Witty, what up? Natalie Stewart, what's up? <laughs> hey, Natalie, how you doing? <laughs> R.E., the wickedest Coco Man alive. The wickedest man alive. <laughs> so oh, girl, it was so great. Woo! Oh, they was killing it just like they used to every weekend at Celebrity Hall. If you was in D.C. in I the 80s. Cher Witty from the Maryland area. Too. Okay, you know Sugar Man. <laughs> They was in the little Benny John and everything. <laughs> Check the clock. <laughs> oh, it was crazy. Oh, I had a ball last night just sitting right here in front of the computer. <laughs> it was, oh my God. Well, just like. Right now, after we finish, um, did you finish with the I'm news? Done. Okay, well, I just wanted to holler out. My J's, share, um, sharing shout, shout outs out and news clips. The news clips. And I just really wanted to shout out all the old heads from D.C. back in the 80s with R.E. Oh, that show was great. It felt like old times. It just brought up all the memories of dead folks laying in the street. <laughs> That's funny. People being dead in the street. It's not funny. No, it's <laughs> Uh-huh. But listen, that's what happened. I mean, it would be a great night if we come out. Ain't no ponies. Oh, this is great. Let's go to the house. Yo, DG Will. <laughs> yes, the Eagles, nigga. <laughs> yes, <laughs> the Eagles. <laughs> Randall Cunningham was my favorite player, yo. That's why I started liking the Eagles. Uh, Besides that, I was a Buffalo Bills fan, yo. Wow, okay. Mm-mm-mm. 
<laughs> Eagles, that's my squad. That's right. All right. Well, I think we are um, done with the preliminaries. Let's take a break and go to commercial. All right, y'all. <laughs> we'll see y'all in a couple of yeah, seconds. We'll be back. <laughs> What's up with you, girl? I'm just over here looking at some old Super Bowl Eagle highlights, <laughs> of course, and I've been looking for a married couple podcast who keeps it real with their fans, who's funny, who love their subscribers, and somebody that me and you can relate to. Do you have any suggestions? Oh, you know what? I have heard of this new couple. I've heard they're funny and people say they're really great. Their screen name is Let's Get Into It with E and J. Why don't we try to find them? Okay. Bring the beat in. That was them. Yeah, yeah, I think that's the one. I yeah, that was it. <laughs> Let's get into it with E and J. Bye. Bye, bitch. <laughs> and we are back. What y'all think about that shit? Hey, yo, I want to send a special shout out to um, Urban X TV. Yeah. They were Black Dot and yes, Malcolm. Yes. Y'all was our inspiration. inspiration. Yeah, they inspired that. us. That's, that's dope, yo. <laughs> so shout out to Urban X TV for giving us, inspiring us to do that, yo. Yeah, so Peace to y'all brothers, man. Straight up. Yeah, hey, you know, we're hoping to have more commercials. We're looking for sponsors. If anybody wants us to advertise their product or their service, just hit us. Hold on just a second. Hit us on our email. And here that is again. That's right. Let's get into, into it, it with e.j e at gmail.com. Yes. Hit us up, man. Fan mail. Yes. Anything um, you want to you say. You want to get some shit off your yeah. chest. <laughs> And stories, anything, anything you would like for us to Y'all got a, a video idea y'all want us to uh, chit chat yeah, about? Yeah, a subject, a topic we will talk All about. that, yo. Like I said, we trying to grow the channel. Yes. Like I said, every time you see see us, yo, it's going to be some new shit. <laughs> we trying. We, we trying, try. man. Yes. But okay. we appreciate all y'all, though. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, got to get into the topic. I guess so. What? We yeah, we like 52 to... minutes. Oh, minutes. okay. But that's all right, though. Damn. We, we getting ready to get to it. You saw the thumbnail. This guy, you know who we talking about. We got to go there. I mean, this, he's hot right now. He's hot to trot <laughs> because he's had a book signing. Actually. Omar Johnson was at Yasa's restaurant. On, it was like about 10 motherfuckers up in there. I don't think it was 10. It was and him. the nigga had, the nerve had security. It was him and his two bodyguards. And I think they said he sold about 12 books. At $50. A piece. So what's book. that? What's, what's 50 times 12? A 60. I don't know. I ain't, $600. I ain't times uh, 60. $720. 720 How I get 60? I don't know. 50, 12, 12 times, times 500. 50. 500. Oh, that's $600. <laughs> I did 60 because he said um he going to be yeah. getting $60 for okay. niggas. Okay. At the book signing, um, it was 50 at the um if you order it online it's 60 dollars yeah that's right um yeah we um first of all we're going to talk about we're going to have him umar johnson did a video <laughs> while he was um in yasa here we go peace 
peace and love. I want to get that yasas in there. Peace and love, black family. It's the Prince of Pan-Africanism, Dr. Umar Johnson. We live and direct, Chicago, Illinois. This is where it all began, right here for my international career. Before September, excuse me, I took that interview to Harlem, New York on October 30th, 2010, and we distributed that to the brothers and sisters there. And within 48 hours, I was a household name, literally. A uh, hair care. No, 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 he's not a household name. We were talking about this earlier. The only people who know who Umar Johnson is, is black people who are on the internet regularly. Really? If white people don't know who you are you're not in the mainstream, right? you ain't shit. You're not a household name. Black people who are not on the internet regularly don't know who you are. So you're not a household name. And, See, we're going to talk about it. And this. not only that, we didn't know who you were not until the first Hidden Colors yep. Tyreek uh, video. Nasheed, which really, you know what? I, I really believe Tyreek Nasheed needs to take some responsibility here. Because he knew, uh -huh. he came out and said he knew you was a fraud when he interviewed you for Hidden Colors. Well, because you know he, um, I think Umar came off of um, Sarnetta platform right. first. Right, exactly. Well, so again, yeah. oh, anybody in the, con see, conscious, okay, obviously you people need to look that word up. The conscious community is not going to say nothing about a scammer and a fraud. That's ridiculous. I'm not saying doing ridiculous. the shit too. Okay. Uh, you know, I can't say Tyreek Nasheed is scamming or is a fraud because he says he's going to do a project. Yeah, he collects money for it, but you don't have to give him anything. Yeah, you do got tangible shit. He has produced what he said he would produce. Even though he knew Omar Johnson, he get videos that he came out later and, and recorded videos to say, yeah, I knew this guy was on some shit. Well, then why are you going to have him in your um, Hidden Color series so that people would think he was legitimate? He would have gotten half the shine that he got now if it weren't for Hidden Colors. Yeah. I think. Because th that's how we know him. Yeah, true that. Oh, real quick. Yeah. I want to give a shout out to um, Mr. Leonard Honor. Yes. And the Information Man. Oh, yeah. For, um, I think it was Lennon's uh, Live on Friday. Mm hmm. Hey, man, y'all two brothers, man. Y'all had an intellectual conversation, man, with great. the call-in. It was great. Information, man, yo. That, yo. Yeah. <laughs> peace to you, man. You, awesome. you very articulate, man. Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, <laughs> your voice and, and your message is, is all that, man. I so, love when he came on with the mask. Shout out to both of y'all brothers, man. <laughs> he came on there with the African mask <laughs> and the staff. Rah, 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 rah. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> yeah, he's awesome. Back to the not awesome <laughs> products. You spend 11 million a year on Quaker grits. So come through oh. Yasa Senegalese. I'm here until 8 o'clock. We shutting the house down. At no, you're not. Actually, you're not shutting the house down. He had, like I said, he sold probably about 12 books. The pictures that we got, and it's coming up now in the video too. He's sitting there by himself with his security guards. There's two of them. So, hey, obviously this guy is shook, just like we said in the last video. Where you got two security guards at a book signing? That's just for show, y'all. At a restaurant. That shit is just for show. I don't show. think so. I think he's afraid of what might happen nah, if he's sitting there by himself. I think that shit himself. is just for show for that occasion, yo, to make it seem like, okay, you got followers coming up. They see you with two bodyguards. Oh, damn, Umar, he really is doing something. He really, he, he need bodyguards. Well, he really is popular he's, when it's only 12 motherfuckers in the spot. That's what I'm saying. He's sitting there with two bodyguards and the, there's no people around him. And like, um, By himself still. And like Information Man said, if you are the most requested scholar on the planet, yeah. this should have been standing room only at that, at that goddamn restaurant, yeah. yo. Been it should have been niggas out the motherfucking, out the, down the block. Right. It should have been police uh, blocked the damn block off and all that. Just if you're like the most it was. Requested, when we went to go see Hidden Colors 5. Remember that? We mm -hmm. had to stand in the line down the block. Mm -hmm. Okay? That's when someone produces things and someone is legitimate in what they say. But you're not. You produced a book that's true. But wait a minute. Just, you know, let's go ahead and get right on into this now. I was going to save this. But you, sir, are a deadbeat. 
and got the nerve How? to open up an all black boy school when you don't take care of your own kids? How do you write a book About advising parents? Nigga, you are not a parent. <laughs> you, Omar Johnson, you are not a parent. Uh. You don't know your children. Mm. Okay. And you can't even be around them. You can't. Without supervised, supervised visitation. Yep, you have to be supervised. What the fuck is that about? By the grandmama. What is that about, yo? Child. So how in the fuck are you writing a book for parents? Okay, see this whole thing right away. The, the first book. Uh, some kind of a holocaust black boy holocaust Psycho, yeah. um, psycho academic holocaust for black boys or whatever it's called um, I don't think you have knowledge of that either your um, subject matter is antiquated and most of the things that you speak on with authority is wrong black boys are not the most prescribed for medication when it comes to ADHD you're wrong those are little white boys they do that the most too. You don't even have statistics to prove the things that you say. You have no receipts ever. And then you're sitting up here with two books on a subject that you're wrong about. Mm. You are not a parent. How the hell can you advise other parents? Okay, go ahead, honey. I'm sorry. I'm on just top of that, you never open up I mean you you never was in charge of a school before no. you never own anything no. for people to follow mm -mm. you don't you didn't produce a business plan first of all to open up this damn school let alone got the nerve to get mad at people wanting to ask you let me see the business plan right. or want to ask you yo where is my money going to because I don't see any progress right. at the school you don't realize that those things are normal when you attempt to um, start a business the business of opening up a school requires a business plan because you don't know that makes you ignorant so you don't have the qualifications to open up a school but first this book but first the book you are writing books about um, being an advocate for parents when it comes to their children and their school. All gas, no brakes. Thank you for the super chat. Defend, Defend Umar, Umar 123. <laughs> no, ma'am. That's right. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. We're not defending Umar. No. <laughs> um, but no, you, your books are talking about things you have no experience doing. You want to act like you were a school psychologist. And we have evidence of that job, the one job you have had in your whole fucking life, you were fired from. And before they could get themselves together to fire you, they say you resigned. And then you wrote this hella letter talking about all of the fuck shit or whatever they was doing to your ass because you are the greatest and blah, 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 all of that. You don't know what you're talking about. So this book is garbage. I'm, hey, the book that you said I've been sold 12 of, that book is garbage. I want to let you know. Whoever bought this book, throw it away. Go, first of all, go get your money back, matter of fact. Go get your money back because he does not have knowledge of what to do in a school setting. Follow his knowledge and see what happened to you. Follow Omar Johnson's advice and see what happens to your child. He's not qualified to give any advice. All you got to do is listen to the anti afro Swingali. Listen to one video that she got. And she will let you know that he is wrong across the board for everything that he advises you to do with your child. I remember one video he said, when you go to the parents meeting with, when it has to come to your child or whether they're going to put him in special ed or not, take some of the goons from the block. Which you just let them sit there with the mean mug. I mean, what kind of shit is this? That don't even sound right. <laughs> you, yeah. Uh, That's your punk ass boy. Yeah, I, I can't. It's so That's hard. your man. It's so hard to even listen to this man. Let me get to the rest of this. At 8 o'clock, if you didn't buy your book, if you didn't buy your book by 8 o'clock, I don't know what to tell you. Chicago, I am here. Thank you for 10 years of support. 
thank you for 10 years of love. Every problem you have in the school system, the answer is in this book. Your child is in no, special ed, they're not being helped. The answer is in this book. No, your child not. is mentally gifted and they're not getting the support. The answer is in this book. No, you want to put your child on medicine? You don't want your child on medicine? The answer is in this no, book. You want not. the school district to pay for your child to go to a private school? The answer is in this no, book. It's not. Everything you need to know. 550 pages, black parent advocate, the order war for dealing with America's public. No, listen. The things that's in this book will get your child expelled. And not only that, Follow his advice and see what happens. Not only that, um, Lennon made mention on his lives that this book been on back order for mm -hmm. like three years. So <laughs> what about the people who um, pre-ordered this book? Exactly. Are you going to now ship their books yeah yeah what the fuck is what's going on with the that pre orders shit? that you have been asking for since 2017 Team, come on man there are people who sent money for this book since 2017 and it's just out three years later where's their book so like Lennon said you better produce this school for <laughs> all the thousands of donations you claim you have you better open up this school. Huh. <laughs> I guarantee he's not. First of all, there are the taxes. Okay. Has Uma mentioned that? Have you heard him talking about the hundreds of thousands of dollars that he owes in taxes and utilities for this, these buildings? That's number one. If you don't pay these taxes, they're going to take the buildings away. Keep no, that's, that's your punk that's ass your boy. Punk -ass boy. <laughs> Yeah, this is too fucking much. It's too much. You worried about a goddamn book. You done, okay, another thing, how you keep talking about how black people spend their money. Nigga, you done wasted millions of dollars in donations. You've gotten way more than a million dollars in donations. You, there's no way it couldn't be more than that. You just was sitting in your car looking at donations. Somebody gave you an a, a envelope full of change. <laughs> and he ain't realized they was just. No, he's, I appreciate that. Listen, <gasps> people been giving you money. I mean, just offering over the money to you, especially when you was popping for real back in what 2015, 16, around there before you got this school and really started scamming hard. Um, yeah, you've had way probably closer to two million dollars. You have wasted that money. Got your funky ass evicted. How could how you couldn't pay your rent? Got your car repossessed, nigga. You broke. And you gonna talk about what black people spend their money on? I don't care. We buy Yo, Amber. Amber <laughs> Pie. Amber is in the house. That's the waitress from heaven, right there. There she go. That's the shorty from Smoky <laughs> Balls, Smoky New Park News. Hey, 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 Amber. You missed hey, it when Amber. we were talking about you. I hope you heard it. If you didn't, you got to go back and watch this video. What's up? But we done what's already up? shouted you out, Amber. All right, now. <laughs> we let folks know what a great time we had at the Smoky Bones because of you. Amber. Amber, then the house. In the chat. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> but yeah, uh, no. Mm -mm. Want to move on? Okay, yeah, let's watch some more of this terrible video. Lincoln Charter Schools. We will be here all day today, Friday, September the 18th at Yasa Senegalese, 3511 South King Drive. Come through. $50 a book, credit card, cash, Apple Cash, however you want to do it. Make sure you support the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy. Peace and Black Power. Okay. All right, hold on. Wait a minute. What, what, what do he got on? What is that? Is that his mama's drapes? <laughs> okay. I, I, I know he's trying to portray the African garb. Hey, African. What the hell? <laughs> I don't know. What are you doing? What are you doing sitting there? What are you chewing on, first of all? <laughs> That's your man. <laughs> That's your man. Okay. Took it off. Okay. All right, yeah, he's just sitting there looking ridiculous. <laughs> okay. Oh, I forgot to do this. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Peace of black power is the Prince of Pan-Africanism.
Africa. We live, Yasser, Senegalese, Black Parent, Advocate, book release, come through. Book sign until 8, we are here, 3511 South King Drive. Tomorrow, Detroit at the Cultural African Fest, 12550 Avondale. For today is all about Chicago, Dr. Umar's 10 year anniversary. We are here, Yasa Senegalese. Come through, family. They said I gotta get masked. They said I got a mask up. I just ate. I got the itis for signing books all day, and I'm loving it. Chicago, I love you. Okay, hold on. All right, you got the itis from signing books. No, you got the itis from eating all their food, whatever they gave you. I just want to say. Probably ate the scraps off the uh, garbage. <laughs> hold on, I just want to say, see this. Hold on, I want to put this up. I think it went bad real quick. Gator Girl had mentioned something. Oh, it gets on my nerves. Here it go. He told a lady to have her daughter complete a college application with a typewriter. <laughs> I remember that. That's, that's the level of intelligence we're dealing with. Yeah, he want niggas to have um, an actual encyclopedia, the actual book itself the set <laughs> you need to order you the got set. A goddamn you got your phone you for got that shit now, yo. come on man so hey come on man. how okay how could someone who thinks like this write a book to give you advice about your children see this is what's killing me he don't deal with his kids at all he won't even pay his child support so how can he advise parents with their children you know your child. You know his school. You know what to do if something go wrong. You know how to go up there and talk to those people. He talked to us like we stupid. And you the idiot, man. You don't deal with your kids. <laughs> Said he's wearing his mama drapes. He is. He got. You see that? What he got on that shirt? Yeah, that's that's some home decor. <laughs> that is home decor. The the drapes that you buy. Yeah, great money. Yeah, he's a mess. All right, y'all, moving on. Let's make it pop. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Can we, okay, what in the... Okay, let it play. This, he's so ridiculous. <laughs> You want to say, huh? Peace and black power, we live. Ayasa, Senegalese, Shy Town, 10 year anniversary, 3511 South King Drive. Come through and get the book of the century, the book of the decade, black parent advocate. 550 pages of truth. Chicago, get it first. We are here until 8 o'clock. Yasas, 3511 South King Drive tomorrow in Detroit at 12550 Avondale. Avondale tomorrow in Detroit at the African Cultural Fest, 12550 Avondale. You can order it on the website, drumarjohnson.com, but this is the one right here. This is the one y'all been waiting for. Psychoacademic Holocaust woke y'all up. Well, this is really going to wake y'all up. Y'all need this advocate book. Chicago, we here. Come through. Get you a grub. Get that soccer soccer, that Yasa fish. Get those salmon patties. We in the building. Yasa Senegalese, the Prince of Pan Africanism with the book of the decade. One love. All right. Well, he obviously went to Yasa to eat. That's, that's all that happened because he didn't get no books sold. They said about 12 got sold. And you like they like we said, and like everybody's saying, if he's the most requested yeah. scholar on the planet, <sighs> why the fuck were there there? Why you only sold twelve books, y'all? <laughs> twelve. 
hell? What kind hey, of shit is that? Yeah, all of those titles. Uh, King Kong Consciousness, um, Prince of Pan-Africanism, Most Requested Scholar. Those are all self-appointed. Nobody has ever given him a title. King Kong Consciousness. King Kong, yeah. Big Papa. All of that. E. Fatunde. He named himself all of this stuff. <laughs> he has never received an award for being the most requested scholar. You know how you win? This? Okay. Oh, well, you were the most this or the most. He's never, nobody has ever told him he was most requested. Or there has never been no consensus that he is the most requested. He's the only one who say that. He's not. Obviously, look at the book thing. A joke. This is a goddamn joke. Well, get up and get 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 down. Nine one one is a joke in your town. <laughs> get up and get 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 down. Umar Johnson is a, a joke, joke in your town. town. No doubt. Get up and get 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 down. <laughs> e five two day is a joke in your town. <laughs> All of that. Shit. All right, let's go on to the next click one. My man off. Oh, where? Gotta go up. Okay. Right, right there. there. Yeah, he's a clown. An absolute buffoon. Okay, now, um, uh, someone sent Leonard some actual pictures from the real book signing during the time. I don't know if this is actually when he's getting book signed, because it looks like he's just eating the, from the previous video. Yo, thank you to everybody in the chat. Yes, yeah, thank you. Thank you to everybody on Facebook. Yes. Please hit the like button. All subscribe, of that. Subscribe, comment, comment, and share. Yes. We appreciate y'all being with us. Yes. We hope y'all <laughs> feeling the content. Yes. If not, oh, <laughs> don't even go there. You know what? <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to even go there. Okay. I'm not going to even go there. Okay. But we appreciate you. Yeah, we do. Much love to everybody. All right. Now we're going to see some pictures from Lennon. Uh, I do have pictures, too, by the way, of Umar at his, at his event. I don't know if you guys want to see it. Okay, let me know if you can still hear the echo. Uh, and then we're going to go to some more cars. Look, I, I can show it to you guys right here. There's a white woman. <laughs> white woman in Germany. <laughs> so people, people, people uh, oh, I don't know what the caller was on. Okay, yeah, I'll see what I can do about that. I don't know. It, it just may have been uh, the caller. Uh, I'm not sure. We'll see. They not. Yeah, yeah. So down. the book did come out. Someone just oh, had a oh, oh. the book. And, and this was the. Okay. Do you see what I see here? In the picture, well, I okay, hold white, on. Let's just I know the here. white woman is not there. No, for that no, shit. they are not there to get a book sign. Okay, hold on. Let's just put it up right bigger. So they look like regular. Uh, they eating. Off. These people are eating. He's sitting there by himself with his bodyguards. Nobody signing a book. Now, which ones is his bodyguards? I'm assuming the niggas standing up right Women, here. Lenny is going to say it. Let me just oh, okay. say. It. Let me just let it play. event and here we are sitting in the corner looking lazy and shit he be sitting lazy he <laughs> looks like a book <laughs> he's here at security people to here with two guys are doing security you sit in here and then there's two people over here there's probably people that have the books over there and, and then i hear that white woman she's there as well <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> this is not the way to do it bro okay. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> look at him pitiful looking like homer simpson <laughs> Got yeah, black just on the phone, you know, just yeah, he's just standing. Look, standing nobody there, right there. Now. said that they were there for a couple of hours. They said they saw he may have sold 10, 12 books during that time period. All right. Yeah. This uh, was a pathetic display. Yo, that restaurant do not look that big and square footage. No. It was so much room. <laughs> To Ample. walk, like I, I could have ran a couple of laps in that shit. Ample room. You could have had a stroller, all the kids, <laughs> everybody just bombing through. You know, he didn't have no people there for the book signing. So you know what? There really was no issue with a book signing at a place because nobody came. Nobody showed up. Because don't nobody give a damn about this stupid ass book. Except maybe the people who were already paid for it. Walrus <laughs> Tunde. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Goddamn the black Homer Simpson. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, he, he is all the way a mess. No. Okay, first of all, I, I understand that he said that he was going to write another book. What's up, Mike du Mike Douglas? Peace, hey, appreciate Mr. you, Douglas, homie. Hey, Mr. Douglas, how you doing? <laughs> but isn't the school more 
more important than this book? Shouldn't that be the focus of your efforts? Why are you concentrating on this? Which is non-consequential. It means nothing that you wrote a book. You are supposed to be opening a whole school. So why? What, what is this shit? Because you know he jumped from a book to wifey resumes. Yes. Then he goes to... Um, the electric is gonna be on soon, y'all. Okay, we get ready to Along see right now. with yep. the um fire alarms mm -hmm. and um uh, alarm systems. Yes. Who the fuck gives a fuck about an alarm system at this point? Oh my god, and a sprinkler system. <laughs> <laughs> what, oh what a big ass hole in the top of the damn one of them buildings, y'all. Nothing. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, now we're this going to, funny, yes, um, this video is Umar, before he actually goes to Chicago, he takes the time in the airport to just basically show his ass. Mm. Mm. Take a look at your boy, Ma. Get on your cash at brothers and sisters. We're about to choose an electrician. We're going to finally get some electric in the building. We are finally going to get some electric in the building. We are finally going to get some electricity in the FDMG Marcus Garvey building. Get. All right. Who? 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 Okay. Let's. I'm gonna do one to Linda. Who in the chat room believe that type one? Who in the chat room believe he about to get the electric on? If you think he is type one, if you think that's a big fat lie, like everything else, type two. Let me see what we gonna get. One, lights coming on. Two, another goddamn lie. Get the girl for <laughs> What you think in the chat? Mm-hmm. I see it too. too. I see it too. Yeah. Get a girl too. Big fat lie. Big fat funky lie. Catherine. How? Okay, let's let's talk about it while I see the twos coming up. Catherine how how too. would he get the electric turned on? How would he do that? He does not even and have boards taken down from the buildings. He does not even have the old school sign taken off the building. He has not paid the taxes and the utilities for this building. And I hope you know when I say utilities, you know, none of the real, the water and the lights, none of that is on. The utilities are for maintenance for vacant buildings. That's what they are charging him for. That he just ain't paying. He's not paid a penny. How <laughs> will he get the lights on? Leonard have made an uh, analogy. I want you to put that up. On one of his lives. Yeah. Uh, he was He was like, <laughs> um, <laughs> he think Umar's afraid to go inside that school <laughs> by, by himself. <laughs> I would be scared to go in there. I wouldn't go in there. But Umar, that's your shit. That's your building. You know what I'm saying? You, you can't know, be scared of your own shit. There like this. You can't be scared of your own shit, y'all. Who's that? <laughs> Come on, man. He's scared of them graveyards. I saw Linda say that too. Yeah. He's scared of them That's graveyards. His somebody. imagination started working. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, y'all? You know what? What was that? <laughs> I wasn't there. I'm going to do You know how he stopped calling on the ancestors? I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Jermaine Jones, which will open first, Ray's Boom Boom Room or Umar School? The Boom Boom Room. I think the Boom Boom Room got a chance. God. Got a you know he can't get no electric turned on. This building will never, none of those buildings will never, ever pass inspection. Uh-oh, Craig Beats, he's getting ready to flee the country in about nine months. No doubt. I believe you, Craig. I believe that with wholeheartedly, with everything in me. He's going to run, just like he did at the beginning. I think it was the beginning of this year when he said that he was going to hide the school open or something. He was going to do some, make an announcement on January the 1st, and then we didn't see him till like, the 15th. No word, no videos, no nothing. I think he got banned or blocked from Facebook. And we didn't hear a word. That's how he gonna he's just a fade out. And people just won't, you know, people somebody with you would probably be asked, Where is Omar? That has happened before. He'll just fade out. You won't hear from him. All he gotta do is get off the internet. Yeah, that's all. That's it, cause he ain't doing nothing else. And ain't nobody fucking checking for him. Ain't no, nobody no, for him. who? <laughs> mm -mm. 
That's your punk ass boy. Appreciate Ooh. you, Gator girl. All right. Did Thank you, you for you the super chat. Already? Nah. All right. Thanks, Gator girl. We appreciate that. Damn it, you I didn't hit the wrong thing. We appreciate two, you two just chilling. <laughs> well, believe it or not, it used to be a club here in Wilmington, North Carolina, Shout called the Boom Girl. Boom Room. <laughs> Some Some years back. Back. Wow. <laughs> Shout out to M NC, yes. North Carolina. <laughs> All right, there we go. Gator Girl, he bought them Bando. bandos knowing he was... Oh, Never going come. to open it. He there probably mad as hell. The city ain't seized it yet. Yes. Yes. Yeah, he's looking. It's like that's what he's waiting for. Well, I, yeah, you're right. For I, them to come, yeah, get it. Yeah. See y'all. Look what the white that man doing to me, yo. White man down. IRS. Look at the city doing to me. And y'all trifling asses. Yeah, is you cool? All <laughs> y'all on YouTube. All of my haters. Yeah. <laughs> all anti Afros and God. I'm in your Lennon, ass. Lennon <laughs> Honors. I'm in your ass. EJ. In your ass again. Money Woodgrain. I'm in your ass too, nigga. Well, Uba, <laughs> fuck you. You gonna knock shit down. Before I come through this motherfucking screen. Don't. <laughs> This happened. So, hey, wait a minute. Listen, hold on. <laughs> don't, don't hurt nobody. Yeah, hold me back. Yeah, hold me back. 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 Yeah, hold me back. <laughs> I'm grabbing you and shit. Hold me back, yo. Hold me back. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely think this was not anticipated. He didn't think he was going to have to actually buy some buildings. This happened. You know why this happened. We're going to just repeat it. He bought these buildings because GoFundMe had started refunding the donations that had come through because he hadn't produced a school. Then he, I bought these buildings. I got a school. I got a school. Don't get the money back. Don't touch my bank account. That's what happened. And now because he has buildings, everything is public. We can see what's going on. You ain't paid no taxes. You ain't paid no utilities. You have not done one renovation. Not one. The build, the the ceiling, the, the roof that you fixed, I think the city made you do that because there was a hazard there. That's what I think. I don't think you wanted to do that because that's the money out your pocket that you didn't want to give up. I'm so sick of him talking about why how black people spend their money on grits, on hair products, on private school, whatever. Black folks work for their money, unlike you. And we buy things that we want and need to satisfy what we want and need. You have stolen black people's money who work hard for their money, that don't have money to get away. You have stolen over a million dollars. And where is it? You have nothing to show for it, not one thing. You haven't done one renovation, you don't have a school. Okay, you are not the most requested nothing. You the you most rejected that. nigga on the planet. If you look at all his videos on um, YouTube, there's more dislikes than likes yeah. on his video, yo. And niggas be going in on his comments, yo. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe he got one follower. I, I can't. But anyway. But well, you know somebody gonna believe in that yeah, shit. Yeah, dude, it's crazy people out here just like him. All right, here we go. On your cash app, dollar sign FDMG School, dollar sign FDMG School, paypal.me slash FDMG Academy. Get your resumes in, pictures, and cover letters. Resumes, photos, and cover letters. FDMG Resumes at gmail.com. FDMG Resumes at gmail.com. FDMG resumes at gmail.com. Shockumentary. We're about to get back on our shockumentary oh game in a minute. <laughs> See, what I need y'all to understand these first 10 years of being global, of being the <laughs> global Garveyite that I am. Hold on. These first 10 years. Hold up. Hold up. We already seen the pics mm -hmm. from this book sign. Yeah, we saw it. We that. seen how empty of a space there empty were there was in that restaurant. Empty. But you are global though. Yeah, international. And on top of that, mm -hmm. where is you 
where have you gotten this money to fly? Yeah, how you flying to Chicago? And you ain't got no job. That's that's your man. <laughs> that's your money. Where the, where the fuck this money coming from to fly? Yeah, he's in the airport. You can see that. Who paid for that? You did. <laughs> you followers, you supporters, who he only talks to. It's your money that he takes to fly around to an empty restaurant to sign books that ain't about shit. This nigga need to get a job. He sure do. <laughs> Valerie, he sure do. Wait, you gotta click her off. Click Years of being the global Garveyite that I am was only practice. I was only practicing. I was only practicing. Now it's game time. See, now it's game time. You understand? <laughs> Did you say practice? Oh practice? In my AI voice? Oh Goddamn fly. You almost hit me right. <laughs> Yo, Lenny. It's a fly flying around. <laughs> it's a net in here. I'm about to smack the fuck out of it. Hey, but you better not smack the fuck out of me. <laughs> It's if I smack one. you, it ain't on purpose, y'all. <laughs> it ain't intentional. Oh, <laughs> yeah. But did this nigga say practice? He just been practicing? No, he has done this same video before. Talking about it's just practice. It's, game. it's been game time the whole time. What are you doing? You playing with us. Yeah. You playing. The wheels is turning up in there, y'all. Oh, it's you know this is hard to listen. The wheels on the bus go round and round, <laughs> the round and round, they love it. round and round. The <laughs> wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. <laughs> this nigga, yo. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this was these ten years. This was practice. Taking over the conscious community. That was practice. Being the most requested black scholar in the world. That was practice. Dropping the most powerful book ever for black parents, Psychoacademic Holocaust. That was practice. In a continental E5 Tuesday, that was practice. Ten years of Matt Turner land, that was practice. Saving hundreds of thousands of black boys, that was practice. Okay, you know. Come on. I would love. Come on. You know what? Come we, on. We've been on here for all, over a year. We've been doing videos. Come on. Could one. Please. Come on. One black boy. Come on. Oh, one black boy's parent. Please Come on. reach out and let us know this nigga helped you. Come Cause on. one. Is there Come one? Come on. Is there one? <laughs> Is there one? One person. Can one person say that he helped them? Mm. I have never heard anybody say this man helped me. Or help my child. I haven't. Not ever. I think Kendall said he brought love to her house because he was living there <laughs> for I free. Bet, I bet he ain't wash no damn dishes. I bet take he out the trash. Have, she was taking out the trash that day. He yeah, didn't help yeah, her. Did. Yeah, I, I would love. Oh, please, anyone. And you know what? Let me please. I want to say this before you start some more. I ain't going to start. Okay. Um. I, you know, I've I listened to Lennon and uh, Antire from Swingali talk about how people are coming out talking so greasy, nasty towards them about their children, their family, that people are making stuff up about Umar. Listen, I, this just clear this all the way up. We personally, E and J, would love for Umar to complete the school. We would love for him to finally do the right thing. On, we would love to see it. Wouldn't it be beautiful? Wouldn't it be wonderful if he opened up this magnificent, beautiful, awesome school <clears throat> for black Oh, no, he couldn't do that. That's another whole falsehood. You can't open up just for one uh, uh, race or nationality. That's discriminatory. But anyway, if he opened up a school for all boys, if he did that, that would be great. Why would we ever want to disparage a real accomplishment, someone who's doing real things. We would love to see it. I would come and visit. I would come and help. I would donate if this motherfucker was real. Hey, yo, I'm going to put this out here right now. Umar, if you open up that school, yo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. E and J. Mm -hmm. We'll, it's going to come up there we and will. volunteer somehow. We will, we will help clean up. How about 
about that. We will come to Wilmington, Delaware, yo. Mm, we will. And help clean up we or, too far. We can come. or 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 uh, uh, donate our services in, in some, some way, way, shape, or form we will. towards these schools, yo. Because there is no reason. You you hearing it right here live today? Yo. What's today? The twenty. September the 20th, 20th we done 2020, said it. We yo. said it, yes. We will head up that way. We coming. And volunteer. Yep. In any way you need us to volunteer. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. You hear it from E&J right here, So yo. then, why would we ever make something up? Or they say Lennon is doctoring videos to make Uma Johnson look bad. This, this is ridiculous. Nobody is going against this man. Like Lena said, nobody is. You all my followers, you motherfuckers is crazy. You are, because this is what he's. Do you think somehow we made him go to the um airport and act like that? We, you think we made him sit there talking about practice? Practice? We talking about practice? Practice? Nobody is doing none of this stuff to him. He's doing all of it. All we doing is reporting it That's and it. alerting and informing people. That's it. All we doing is exposing this shit. We using our constitutional right? We got that. Yeah, because the United States of America right. said we could do Don't it. Don't I got that right? And almighty God. He got that right. <laughs> uh, we got that right. Thank you. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Whew. Oh, my goodness. Back to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is hard. It's hard to listen to. Millions of black parents, that was practice. All the radio interviews, that was practice. Game time is about to start. Tomorrow begins a new 10 year cycle in my political movement. Tomorrow begins a new 10 year cycle for Team Pan African. I've been practicing on y'all. I've been practicing on y'all. I've been practicing. That was nothing. That was easy. That was light work. Frederick Douglass shouted at me out. He said, cousin, that was light work. Marcus Garvey shouted me out from heaven. He said, that was light work. Hold on, stop. Oh, my God. Hey, yo, man. Oh. That's, that's all, them, all the times he be going to them cemeteries, yo. He talking to dead people. <laughs> I see dead people. <laughs> Yo, Omar, man, you need to oh knock this shit off, man. He said they talking to him. You from need to cut this shit out, man. Oh, God. Yeah, he's wow. Yo, your fucking your head, yo, you is like off the fucking meat racks now, man. Ooh, it's bad. It's bad. I got practice. Marcus Garvey. E and J practicing on y'all, yo. Okay. <laughs> you practicing on y'all, chat? Oh my, easy work, light work. <laughs> My motherfucking eagles coming back on the Rams right now too. Oh my gosh! Okay. <laughs> now we about to start these FDMG renovations. Now we about to start these FDMG renovations. We gonna get that electric going, brothers and sisters. We about to get that. I can't wait to walk through the school with the electric on. And then we're going to get that fire alarm fixed up. We're going to get that sprinkler system fixed up. Yep. Yep. We're going to get the plumbing fixed up. Yep. 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 <laughs> yep. Oh, God. Is he high? He's high. I think he's high. Is that but why he keeps saying yep? Yep. E. Yep. <laughs> We're going to bake them cakes tonight. Yep. 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 <laughs> Yeah, yep. we gonna keep doing these lives and being funny for our people. Yup, 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 yup. What the fuck is wrong with this nigga? What's wrong with him? <laughs> What's wrong with? We gonna get the electric. Okay, first of all, you know what? It's not a tremendous effort to get the, the electric on. That's something you should have been done. And when you talk about, I can't wait to walk through the school with the yep. lights on. Yup. <laughs> Yep. Like that's gonna be amazing. Woo! We got lights on. Everybody got lights on, bro. Everybody do that all the time. Why is it taking you so long? Because you don't want to do it. You haven't fixed these buildings up enough to do it. Oh damn. Mm. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> lights on. One, two, three. <laughs> all right.
right, let's get through the rest of this garbage because I got a whole bunch more to say in this bag. Well, how long? Woo! It's a hun- um, an hour and 38 minutes. All right. Here we go. Get the carpet tea done. We're going to get the, the carpet tea. Did he, the say the- Hold on. Did he say the carpet tea? I ain't going to go all the way. This carpet tea? We're going to get the carpet tea on? Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> But he's supposed to be educated, though, right? This is, he got a PhD with the carpentry. <laughs> Bo- what vocabulary like I think, that? You know what? Uh, let me. Okay, I gotta go ahead and stop for real. I think he's high. I really do. I think he snorted some lines. Yup. Yup. <laughs> it's. I mean, it's. Don't it sound like it? Don't yep. it sound like yep. a crackhead? Yup. Yup. <laughs> At this point. At yep. this juncture. Yup. In his career. Yup. I think it's a crackhead talking. Yup. Yup. Allegedly. Yup. Yup. Practice. <laughs> Light work. Fuck out of here, yo. Oh my god. Yo, if you ask what side. Color, what color scheme should we use inside the school? We got ten classrooms. How do y'all want to break the ten classrooms down? I want your advice because this is your school. I'm only talking to donors. I'm only talking to donors. I'm only talking to donors right now. What color scheme should we use inside the 10 classrooms, brothers and sisters? Ladies, I want your feedback. Fellas, I want your feedback. Ladies, I want your feedback. Fellas, should we red, black, and green the whole thing? I don't want to red, black, and green the whole inside because we're going to red, black, and green the outside and we're going to have the flags everywhere. It's going to look like the United Nations of Pan-Africanism. The you outside the school going to look like you at the UN. The, you going to think you at the African Union. You're going to come to E5 Tuesday Avenue, Dr. Papa Boulevard. Hey, y'all. Don't he sound like when you, <laughs> a teacher... She got all her little six-year-olds around, and they ask, she asked them what they want to be when they grow up. <laughs> this nigga, he, he bring it. Yeah, um, it's going to be red, black, and green everywhere. Yes. Um, oh, my God. Uh, yeah, um, there's going to be a strawberry shortcake over there. Mm-hmm. And um, um, I'm going to eat all my Twistlers over there. And um, make yeah. sure uh, uh, make sure I have a, a, a hidden space to uh, beat my little micro dick because I'm always thinking uh, sexually about women and wifey resumes and, and foot uh, foot figure figure fudge and all that. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Uh. Yup. 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 Uh huh. Yup. <laughs> hey, wait, wait, wait. He is a grown ass man. He is forty. Six years old. You know, this is hurt my feelings. It, it hurts my fucking feelings. I can't, I, it's hard for me to sit here and listen to this grown motherfucker talk about colors. Bitch, you ain't painting the mother. God damn it, that school is, oh Lord, it's not ready for no colors. What are you talking about? Why don't you pay the tax? You know what? At some point, you're going to have to do grown man shit. You're going to have to do grown man shit and stop happen. sitting up here talking about ladies. I need y'all to feedback. I need y'all to come on in and decorate. I need y'all to help me with the color. Bitch! Oh my, I, you know, it's yep. just infuriating. Yup. It's, I, you know, I do. I get angry. I get upset. Yup. Behind this goddamn trivial nonsense bullshit. <laughs> yup. Oh. Uh, yup. It's, it's, it's embarrassing. You should, you are grown. You are grown up. Why are you talking about colors? Yo, age is just a number, yo. And here, that nigga is six years old. Yeah, he's six. Right In about here, now, right about that first nigga grade. is six years first old, grade. yo. Yep, he's first grade. That's what children, he's right. What child, how children sound when you say, what you would wanna, you like, we, we're going to, where, where would you like to go today? We're going to, it's your day. Where would you like to go? Um, I would like to um go down the yellow brick road <laughs> and um see Dorothy and the Tin Man and um the Cowardly Lion um because I'm a liar <laughs> and I'm just trying to will you in and to get you excited <laughs> but I'm lying like I always do. Yup, 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 yup. <laughs> Practice. Practice. I was just practicing with y'all. Oh my god. I'm practicing right now. Exactly. <laughs> Damn. And you wanna think you at the African-
working union, you're going to come to E5 Tuesday Avenue, Dr. Papa Boulevard, and you're going to think you at the African Union. What color? We got 10 classrooms. Should we do five of them? How y'all want to do these classrooms now? Should we use the bright, like a bright orange, a bright blue, baby blue? How y'all want to do this? Now, we don't want to get too soft because it's a boys' school now. Queens will come later, but it's a boys' school. How chauvinist is that? Oh, my God. We don't want to get too soft. What y'all want to do with the colors? Keep it white? David said keep it white. David, is you a boy? David, this is a... For Africoids only. Only Africoids on the live, David. Africoids. Oh, my God. Okay. Did he but just call black people Africoids? Not only that, though, but you're not homophobic, though. Oh, my God. You're not homophobic, though, what right? What the fuck is this? What? Okay, you think he white? That's why he's saying only Africoids. No, he's wondering, like, yo, talking about, yo, I, I, I'm, I'm getting the, 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 uh, the notion that he's saying, are you gay? Oh, because he asked, but was he a brother? Brother. Asking for a, a feminine color in his head. So, well, he like, yo, are you gay? Oh, well. So I now he's always... like, yo, you talking to Africoids right here. What the fuck is an Africoid? <laughs> oh, you know, this is bothersome. I, you know, I, uh, I, I'm, I'm completely astounded. I know. Uh, and usually, you know, this shit is funny. But it's not. It's not. This is, okay, you know what? I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm going to laugh at him as well. But this, to me, I mean... I, how okay you you know what this is why you can't see your children this this is why if you want to know and if you need to have other people go and ask them why look at this video you are talking about bright orange and baby blue for some classroom colors none of this matters at all this is this nonsense matters. nothing as, even matters yeah, it don't, at all it don't, cause Nothing even matters. You, you don't have oh, oh. none of the things you need to open the school. You don't have any insurance. You don't have any kind of uh, agreement with this. God damn it, I'm pushing buttons. Agreement with the city. You have nothing uh, as far as money. You can't pay the taxes. You know what? You, I, I, I don't know. I, what, what did your mama say? <laughs> Hey, you you won't raise right. Something's wrong here. Who raised you? Yes, the, the people. Who raised you? The senior daddy. But uh, I don't know. There, there's some problems. There's something wrong with a 46 year old. Anti Afro, what's up? Hey, Anti Afro, Anti Afro in the house. It's up. Okay, where is that? Right there. It. Okay, there she go. We hey, love you too, hey, sister. Hey, Anti Afro, Smigali. How you doing, honey? I love you two together. Keep pointing out the fine details. details it's a huge help. help. More than you can imagine. Thank you, baby. We sure appreciate Salute that. Salute my sister. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming to our channel. Hey, 46. Uma Johnson is 46 years old. Have you? Did you know other people that act like this? Do you? Uh, is it normal? Is it usual to hear a grown man talking like this? He's talking about colors. Very immature for his age. <sighs> Ew, that's damn, it's fucking me up. <laughs> I'm fucked up. Man. What color y'all want to do? See? <laughs> what color y'all want to do? What colors y'all want to do? I need a group of queens to come decorate my office. Oh God! I need a group of queens to come decorate my office. I need about four or five queens to come decorate my office. You got to be between the ages of 35 and 45 to come decorate. Why? Why? Why, why 35 is, and 45? Why? Why is there an age stipulation to come decorate, ma? Why? Why? No, you want some dates. You want a, 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 that, that back shit, rub. No. Yeah, he back on that shit. Again. What happened to the attorney general that was uh, sending you letters? Oh my, do you know? <laughs> this, this is too much. <laughs> it's too much. It's too much with your ass. That's why you don't have a woman. That's why. <sighs> you my arm. Four or five queens. I won't be there. Oh. Because I don't want no scandals. I won't be there. 
My building manager will let you in. He will show you. This is Dr. Umar's office. He said they'll let y'all in. Y'all gonna decorate it. And then after y'all decorate the office, I'm gonna be outside and I'm gonna take y'all to lunch. Whoa, I'm gonna whoa, treat to lunch. whoa, whoa, what about the scandal? You won't be there. What about the scandal? Hold on. You, you know what? That wasn't even a whole sentence that you contradicted yourself. I'm not gonna be there because I don't want no scandal because you worried about that. No, you're not. You were constantly in a scandal. So, okay, after y'all decorate, then I'm gonna show up and take you out to lunch. What about this? Man, right. God. Damn. You leave a room in there for a scandal to There's happen. There's the scandal right coming up. <laughs> right there. See, this y'all boy, man. Yeah, this, this, see, this is y'all boy, and man. And you wrote a book? You wrote a book to help parents? For me to follow. I'm supposed to follow this book. You can't. Hearing shit like this, though. You can't carry a train of thought for a few words. <laughs> Within the sentence, you contradict yourself. You have a very low attention span, my brother. Yeah. Oh God, that of a six year old. There you go. I give him six. I really do. That about six. Not, he's not 46. He's oh, no, six. six. Cancel the four. At the Drop Squad Cafe, Sister Abundance Child. Shout out to Sister Abundance and Drop Squad. I haven't been there in a while. I've been busy. I've been tied up. The Abatala shake is my favorite shake. I love the tacos. Yeah. I love the vegan yeah. steak. Yeah. Drop Squad. Yeah. yeah, now he's just talking about food. Yo, how he go from people helping decor decorate, he goes from color schemes to his other favorite building, food. Honey, what you want for lunch? What you want for lunch, baby? Um, I would like a uh, <laughs> uh, 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 a Frederick Douglass and Marcus Garvey um, French fries <laughs> with some chili cheese on it and some um, uh, 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 yup, <laughs> yup, and some yup, and some yup. Practice. Yeah, I'm practicing. I was just practicing, y'all. <laughs> yeah, this is my favorite. My favorite shake is the, the umami gummy shake shake from Just Why Cafe. I would like the the umami gummy bobby shake, and I would like the the um the the, 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 the fennel steak and some potatoes. That's what I want for lunch. That's what I'm gonna have for lunch. Cause that's my favorite. <laughs> Okay, do you watch these videos? Do you watch your your shit, Omar? You're looking real stupid. It's just way, way ignorant. If Umar does finally turn on the lights, it's because the government has ordered an inspection. Come on, Spengali. The lights will again be shut off since he won't pay the bill thereafter. That's right. <laughs> exactly, That's right. exactly. I doubt that lights gonna ever come on. I really do because uh, wait a minute. Maybe, I don't, yeah, they probably would have to have the lights on for an inspection. If they come for an inspection, they're going to condemn them buildings. In my opinion, they ain't worthy for nothing. Yeah, he going to take the women out because yes. he want some cookie. That's all. That's all. You know what? When he was in the car on the last video talking about, I'm not worried about that right now. The wifey resumes are not important. I'm not thinking about that because that's not important. I'm talking about my life. That right there lets you know what he think of women. He don't give a fuck about y'all. First of he all, he don't care. Not only that, he want to open up an all black boy school. How chauvinist is that? Yeah. Why would that? Why be? not just open up a, a black, black school? school? Yeah. Co-ed. Thank you, and you know, cause the girls got rotten, rotten cookies. cookies, right? Oh, I middle, mean, it's so middle, much with middle, this middle school girls got rotten, rotten cookies. cookies. Yes. That's what he said. Eleven to what fourteen year old girl. Yeah, Ryan Cookies. But the little boys, we gonna have a sleepover where I'ma turn out the lights and play capture the flag with you. You ain't got no Ryan Cookie though. Well my micro dick. <laughs> my micro penis. <laughs> yeah, but the little boys. I got to play with you. See, I'm gonna have a sleepover. Very strange. Suspect. Okay. That's what I think anyway. You talk real slimy. Dirty nigga. Slime ball. You're a slime ball. <laughs> Why will see me soon, but I need four to five coins. I got a better idea. This is what we're going to do. Right, thank man. We're going to choose two queens per classroom. Ten classrooms. Two queens. That's, that's ten sets of two. That's 20 queens total. Ten sets of two. Whichever couple queens, whichever queen dyad, 
decorates the best room. So you got 10 classrooms. I'm assigned two queens to each class to decorate it out. The brothers that do the painting, you just got to tell them how you want the cup to decorate them. Oh the whole thing. Okay? <laughs> two queens per classroom. And whichever queen decorate their classroom the best, they will be the two queens of FDMG. They will be the queens of FDMG. One will be the queen of the Garvey School. One will be the queen of the Douglas School. One will be the queen of the Garvey School. One will be the queen of the Douglas School. Must be nappy, must be natural. Must be conscious, must be committed. Must know how to cook, must know how to keep your mouth shut. Hold on, wait a minute, what the fuck did you just say? Hold up, he go from, de I thought they was up there to decorate, now they up there to cook. You gotta cook and keep your mouth shut. So what are you talking about, Re wifey resumes or women coming up there to clean? He's saying he wants the, the women to come to decorate it, he got a big idea, the two women, oh, it's gonna be a competition, and then the best room, or whatever the fuck he's saying, it's gonna be the queens of FDMG. But you got to know how to cook and you got to know how to keep your mouth shut? What the fuck? What is this? Oh my God. Oh my, yeah. Okay. Any woman who lowers herself to be around this nigga, you deserve what you get. You really do. How can you ever, how, how does he think that he's going to attract a woman like this? Yeah, what do they have to do with black boys? That's right, Kami. He's, he's trying, trying to get, get hooked, hooked up. up. This Once is again, just on the disgusting. Air, yo. Like, he, yo, he's so slick and, you gotta and know underhanded, how to yo. Keep your mouth shut. Oh God, who the? Oh my God, nigga. Why is he saying must know? How? Thank you. That's what we're that sounds like he's getting his rocks off. He's even licking his lips. Disgusting, <laughs> Catherine, girl. <laughs> You know what? I, I just wish a bunch, really, just my in my head, I wish some men would get together and just whip his ass. He need his ass beat. Omar Johnson needs his ass beat for this type shit. Who the fuck you think you are? Why don't you make your mama shut her mouth? How about that? Okay? How about your mama need to know how to keep her mouth shut? How you gonna talk about women like that? How you gonna say that about women? Black women that you call queens? Nigga, I cannot. I'm not even ready. I need to cut my ass down. Cause this he just kills me. <laughs> this foul shit. You was just dirty. You's a dirty nigga. I can't stand your ass. You's a dirty dog. I can't. I can't. I can't do it. He's a dirty dog. <laughs> yep, licking his ashy lips. <laughs> oh damn. Oh, just disgusting. Yeah, you are. He's a. He's a vagrant. Philadelphia book release. There will be two Philadelphia book releases. There will be two Philadelphia book releases. Hometown homecoming. Hometown homecoming. Hometown homecoming. Meek Mill may be the king of Philly hip hop, but I'm the king of Philly black consciousness. Meek Mill may be the king of Philly hip hop, but I'm the king of Philly black consciousness. understand i'm the king of philly black i'm the king of black consciousness period i don't care where you live if you want a planet earth i'm the king period the fuck out of here man okay all right right here okay I, you know hold up yeah. how he's the king and you only had 12 motherfuckers at your so-called book signing the other day yo how are you a king and you homeless <laughs> That's You're right. homeless. You are a homeless bum. You don't even have a car to sit in. You don't even have a pot to piss, piss in. Or oh, when did the throw it out of? All right, I want to bring something in real quick. I'm going to stop this share and go here to a different share. And I have uh, come across an article. Here it goes. I think this is the one. It talks about delusions of grandeur okay what is the stream yard hold on let me just see here make sure it's coming up yeah okay all right um 
even though we know Omar Johnson is crazy, I think he suffers, as, as you ha can hear. He's talking about he is the king of the planet, or whatever the fuck he say he's the king of. King Kong Consciousness, Prince of Pan-Africanism, Ifa Tunde, uh, Big Papa. These are all delusions of grandeur. I just wanted to read a little bit of this. Delusions of grandeur sometimes referred to as megalomania <laughs> is considered to be a symptom of several different and serious personal disorders. People suffering from delusions of grandeur usually believe themselves to be very important and powerful despite evidence to the contrary. And they often have a highly inflated sense of self-esteem. So what are delusions of grandeur, symptoms, and how can the condition be cured? All right. Uh, obviously, you can see uh, Omar Johnson has delusions of grandeur. He thinks he's the king of the world. He says he's the king of the planet. All right. Okay. Let me just get back to it. I just want to read a little bit more. We're going to end this. I know it's long. I know it's taking a long time. But this is just important. Okay. All right. So we, we've talked about uh, what it is. We're going to say what the symptoms are. Having delusions of grandeur is common in those suffering from narcissistic personality, personality disorder. disorder. A narcissist loves being the center of attention and will always exaggerate their achievements in order to garner even more attention. Narcissists are typically obsessed with the trappings of wealth and success and are likely to delude themselves into thinking they are far more important than mm. they really are. Mm. Delusions of grandeur can also be symptomatic of a psychosis, of a psychotic episode in their suffering from schizophrenia or bipolar disorder. Oh. See, uh, all of these, we can uh, attribute all of these to him. Fact. And the condition is considered to be one of the four main symptom, symptoms associated with a psychotic episode. That's what he's having right now. He has that. This is a psychotic episode. On more than one occasion. In such instances, the delusions of grandeur might also be accompanied by other delusions such as paranoia. We've seen it. All that looking the, the fuck around. Persecution. Oh, and persecution. He's being persecuted. It's everybody's fault. The Attorney General is writing letters. Hallucinations and a lack of insight and awareness. Okay, I, I think that's enough. That's enough uh, that we need to read uh, about the delusions of grandeur. Um, this man is sick. He is mentally ill. And he constantly wants to associate himself with your children. That's right. Is he going to be a fucking king or is he going to be a prince? <laughs> That's right. He don't know. He's is all he of that. He's a king or a prince. He's, he's everything. He's the king. He's the prince. He's the big papa. But he don't want to be the papa. He don't want to deal with his children. He will not pay child support. Yeah, how you gonna call yourself a big papa and you don't even fucking take care of your own kids, yo? Exactly. How fitting? Is that fitting? No, That's not, not a fitting title, No, man. you ain't nobody's papa. You don't want to be. You keep making baby mamas but and you inviting women constantly, but you don't want no scandal. Yeah, well, what I, fucking woman is letting him lay with her? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it's some sick bitches out here, too. It really Damn. is. Yeah, he's a bum, gay girl. He ain't nothing but a goddamn bum. Living with his mama. You 46. Bitch. Most people leave the house at least 21. 21, maybe 25 because you're in college, something like that. In your 20s, you get the fuck out. You are 46. Even Lamont left when he was 35. You know what I'm talking about. San Francisco. Lamont. And he was in a partnership with his daddy. You a trip. You a whole trip. <laughs> that's my ringtone. Hey, but listen, I, I don't want to even go back to that, that nigga because 
um, it's obvious that there is a problem. Of course, we laugh at it because it's funny as shit. But he should not be allowed to be around anyone's children. That's why he can't be around his own children. He has to have supervised visitation. I am tired of Uma fucking Johnson. I really, really am. I wish he would stop this shit. Constantly talking about he's a king. She's a queen to be. A queen who will live forever. Your royal desire. A queen practicing y'all i've been practicing for over a year y'all i'm practicing <laughs> oh god yo hit the like button y'all yeah, yes. if y'all like the content okay. if y'all feel it let's get into it with ej yeah. like subscribe comment <laughs> share we ain't even got the paypal and all that going oh, across damn, the screen we and all of that all of that but here it go well, we, you know, we had to get right into it. And plus, you know, the, the, the um, damn it, where is it? Is it up there? It's supposed to be. It looks like it is. Is it up there? It is, but I don't know why it's uh We can't see it. Maybe they can see it. But, you know, sometimes this ain't no work, right? So we, we can't see the stuff that they But, well, yo, y'all can hit the um, PayPal, <laughs> the Cash App. Dollar sign E J Podcast One. If you want to donate, yes, <laughs> we appreciate everybody. We appreciate all the thumbs up, all the yes. all the love, all of the um, comments in the chat. Y'all are awesome. We love that. We love to see you, and we love to have y'all comment. Thank you so much. Or is there anything else? No, that's I can't I can't go back to the Umar video. Yeah, he was in the airport acting a whole fool. Can you imagine, you know, you in the airport, it's hardly anybody in there. Plus, you know, the, the pandemic is going on. And he in there hollering about some colors and some queens. He's a Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He's an impossible whopper, yo. <laughs> yo, impossible whopper ass. <laughs> impossible whopper. That's him. <laughs> All right, maybe shout out some people in the chat. Why don't we do that before we go? Angel Hair Pasta Fabulous. I love it. How you What's doing? What's up, girl? <laughs> Angel Hair. I bet she be. <laughs> down the I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt it. Damn, damn, damn. <laughs> I wouldn't yeah, doubt he's it. a heinous nigga. You don't know what this motherfucker doing. <laughs> he is heinous. Uh, <laughs> yo, see. shout out to everybody up in here, man. This shit is going so it fast. It goes by. It's flying by. I can't catch it. Um. All right, who we got? I am in my dad's, dad's kitchen, kitchen, and he shook his head at me. Thanks. <laughs> okay, right. Angie. Tell your dad we said peace. How you doing, Dad? <laughs> okay. That's right, CG. Photography, man. Tell everybody hit that like button. Hit the like button, y'all. Like <laughs> College makes you dumber. <laughs> Spreezy, you a fool for that username. Spreezy. <laughs> yeah, I like that too. <laughs> okay. One more. One more. Holly B. Peace, everybody. Keep exposing, exposing this frog. frog. That's your boy. Yeah. That's your <laughs> punk ass boy. boy. <laughs> All right, y'all. You know what? I'm, can I do my thing? I say. What that? I'm going to change it up. You've been watching Ian. Let's get into it with Ian J. Bye. Bye, bitch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you going to do the outro? Oh, damn. I'm about to forget the outro again. Okay. Uh. I'm ridiculous. Here we go. And here's. Can I say something real quick? Go ahead. <laughs> Before we end, y'all, we'll be back Thursday. Oh, yes. Thursday at 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Yes. 
We want to thank all y'all for tuning in. Mm -hmm. We don't had y'all for about two hours we and ten did. minutes, <laughs> but we thank y'all on this Sunday night. Yeah. Stay safe. Yes. Take care of yourself. Yes. Um, and oh. see us again on Thursday. Thursday. But 8 you know what? Later on in the day, we might do another video. I want to show you my um fireplace I built for. We might got another porch. upload video yeah, coming. Yeah, just a, just a little thing. I want to show it all because it's, so it's so dope. It's so dope. All right, now for the outro. Bye. Bye, bitch. <laughs>